circulation plan is very important for Ghent, very important for life quality. We have an, an area where there are seven parts. Uh, there is a car-free zone in the center and then six parts around it. For pedestrians, for cyclists, uh, for public transport, nothing changed. But for car drivers, something changed. If they wanted to go from one part to another part, they had to go to the ring road. There was no connection between the parts uh, possible with the car. So at that moment you get fewer cars and that means better air quality, less fewer noise, uh, more pedestrians, more cyclists. They came up with a plan, uh, they announced it one year uh, before the plan would go on. And they really did a, a great job. There was a lot of hesitation when the announcement was there. A lot of people told it wouldn't be possible, Ghent will be dead. I was the political key person for the circulation plan. So if the circulation plan should have failed, it would be my problem. So many people were waiting, what will happen? And that was difficult because I needed all the support. The mayor uh, at that moment, uh, Daniel Termont, supported me for the public and that was very important. I must say that the political support and the political will here in Ghent was really high, which you can also see in other cities in, in Belgium, but maybe there was not such a big fuss out of it. There was a lot of commotion in the city about what would happen. Uh, a lot of people thought Ghent would die, the, nobody would come to Ghent anymore, all the shops would have to close. Uh, so there was quite some commotion, also some political parties that tried to use it to, to get elected. All that period, two and a half years, there was uh, much debate and a very rough debate. I had some death threats, so this was, this was not, not, uh, not easy for me. When I went to a Congress, a uh, European Congress somewhere at Euro Cities, for example, a lot of people, even Dutch people, told me, well, the plan that you're going to implement, that's political suicide one year before the elections. You can't do that. There was national media coverage and they all went to Ghent to see will it work, will there be a huge congestion, uh, will there be uh, traffic problems. They really went with a very negative image. There was a lot of media attention from all regional, uh, national uh, news media. And even one of the, the national newspapers uh, had set up their headquarters here in Ghent for a couple of days. Because a lot of people expected a lot of troubles with the traffic in the city. But the moment it started, on April 2017, everything changed. I remember at the first day, I came outside with the journalists and I, I, I took a trip with the bike uh, through Ghent. And everywhere people said, congratulations, uh, very good, we are very pleased with it. And there weren't any problems, there weren't any big congestions. And all went very smooth and all went very well. And then after that, nas national media really needed to change and to, to see and to admit that it is a good plan and it's working. And there isn't a lot of problems as they told the days, the weeks before the uh, circulation plan went on. Yeah, people accepted what was happening, uh, more and more people started to bike uh, and now the politicians who made this uh, circulation plan got re-elected and it looks like the circulation plan is here to stay. One year later our deputy mayor got re-elected with quite a lot of extra votes. A year after uh, the start of the circulation plan there were the elections and I got my best uh, score, uh, electoral score ever. So uh, I was very, very happy about it. <laughs> One year after the plan, 60% of the uh, people living in Ghent are really pleased that that plan is now going on. If there is political will to make really good changes towards more walking and cycling and really making the city more pleasant and happy, um, that also on political uh, level people get rewarded for it. Uh, for example, uh, in Leuven, the alderman for mobility was rewarded with it and he is now the mayor of Leuven. It's when you have a good plan, when you have goals, sustainable goals for your city, that you have to go on for it. You make a coalition of the willing. We also need the people in our city who lives here to uh, seduce them by good uh, practices, for example, in other cities. 
it has really proven that in fact if you want to introduce that plan and of course you have to involve the citizens as much as, much as possible but it's not an easy thing to do. Sometimes you have to struggle against the current really to achieve something. And in the last 10 years it has um, really improved to just keep the people um, happy in the city and not moving out of the city with their small children. The most beautiful um, compliment I, I got was uh, a man that said to me, you are the best city composer we ever had. And I'm not, I have no musical talents, but he said, now I'm hearing other things than before. Before I, he I heard cars, 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 cars. And now I hear birds, I hear the sound of the city like it is. And that was really a very beautiful compliment.